Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley, Kitty Haven Farm. Now I did just turn uh, out on a feature for turning off the light, so we'll see how that goes. So now the light is on high, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. Well, it's going to be sunny and beautiful day tomorrow. And how are the spirits today? Mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. And the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish? Coleslaw! Envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage? You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy, fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise, and you're all set. Ah, that's Chris. You've learned how to cook coleslaw. And we got beans. Ooh. Okay, and let's see. We need... Well, we can't use those. Let's plant the spring seeds. Now we got a parsnip from that spot. And yeah, and we'll put... Uh, no. No, there. We'll fix this one. Okay. So let's do all the watering. And we're going to hold off on that spot for now. So many, so many crops. It's kind of funny, I actually uh, wanted parsnips uh, when I did the grocery shopping for on Friday. Well, ordered online. And they were out. They were out. Can you believe it? Just... Uh... Okay, we're just going to put those in there. Now, we need stone. And we need a fair amount, I feel. But let's see. Uh, small mouth bass. No, I'm pretty sure herring. No. Well, we'll bring these because these will be good for food. Because we're going to go down into the mine. I don't need my axe. And I want to drop some stuff off for, um, I think I need a piece of pearl. Can't remember. No, I don't need a piece of pearl. Why I still have a piece of pearl, I don't know. Okay, so I don't need the hoe. There we go. So we're going to go to the community center first. Drop off what we can of what we have here. 
And then we're going to go and go to the mines. Just a quick foraging scoot. Because we desperately need stone. Actually, no, I'm not going to take that because that's going to take up space. Let's see. So we got the river fish, sunfish. There we go. And no, no, no. And smallmouth bass. No. Nope. How about a crab? Yeah, so some of the stuff that we can get off the shores will give us a lot of what we need. Excellent. That's all we have here. Oh, I should show you the other bundle. That's bad of me. Terribly, terribly bad. Um, spring crops. So we kind of want... To save up and oh it's just one of each okay so we need potatoes we're going to get green beans going to get cauliflower we have the parsnip so not a problem there oops uh, artisan bundle no quality crops this is where it's hard see we want five parsnips summer crops fall crops Animal bundle, it's like, it, it's a lot. So, but we need some stone, and tomorrow I think we will buy some uh, seeds for planting. We should be fine. Oh, no, go this way, Sarah. Go this way. Hello. Oops. What? Oh. It bugged out, I guess. Ah, uh, we can go down to 15. And we can leave very quickly. The big ones give you more stone, but I'm not seeing any. Ah, her endurance is so low. That's not so good. That's not so good. Oh. Okay, let's eat some of our fish. Yes. Yes. And that's it for our energy. Holy jeez. Well, let's go for the big stone. Hopefully we won't disturb all the larvae there. If you don't kill them quick enough, they will hatch into those things, actually. And we don't have that good of a weapon. Now, 
And I should have brought the stone because we need to deposit uh, 99 stone for that construction bundle. Do we have a thingy here? No. Oh, I see some ore. Can I get to it? Oof. Okay, I dare not do any more. Okay. We better head home. Just so not prepared for this. Leave the mine, yeah. We just don't have the energy to do it. Now, if we had a kitchen, we could make better food. Hmm, there is a thought. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. I agree. I guess that's a kind of difficult when you live on the farm, though. Very true. Hey, at least in the winter, you don't have to worry about crops. Absolutely. Kind of. <laughs> oh... Oh, not this one. Oh, I don't... I didn't bring the hose, so I can't get those things. It happens. Hi, Robin. I hope Demetrius doesn't blow the house up with those science experiments of his. I'm not even sure what he's working on. I think it has something to do with plants. Uh, you don't have to worry about it blowing up, then. Although, nitrite... Yeah, we won't get into that. <laughs> oh goodness, are you sure? Absolutely, Caroline. I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? Eh, not really. Always something to do. We better check the calendar. I need a cave carrot if it's not too inconvenient. Oh, we don't have any. And tomorrow we're not going. Okay. Oh, it's Haley's birthday tomorrow. Shoot. Do we have anything for Haley? I don't think so. Hey. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Oh, sorry to bother you. Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? Yes, I do. Well, that's good, isn't it? Very good. Hello. Um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Yes, it's very interesting. Sorry. What? Oh, don't worry about it. Ooh, but we couldn't go fishing. Let's see, do we get anything that we could use or sell or no. maybe over here? We got the coral. Couple pieces of coral, that's it. I also didn't get that much copper. We'll see if we can smelt some bars while we do some work. We'll go this way, see if we can find anything. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. We can make it. We'll sell the coral. And the fiber. Uh, 
for no real reason, actually. Um, so we got one piece of coal, and how much? Well, we can smelt two of them. Uh, want this? Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Right here? Yeah, I think that would be a good spot. And, uh, no, tap, yes, no. I'm okay. Is 10 enough? Oh, two more than what we need. Uh, get a path we can mark it here okay so a side path to the water now let's let's see the where we're growing our crops is basically in the wrong spot But let's see, okay, um, I would like more scarecrows. Ouch. Which means something that I can't think of. Scarecrow, I need wood, coal, and fiber. Oh, shoot. How's our wood supply? Terrible! Really bad. I'm getting rid of that call. Really? Okay. So that's that would be good. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's see for crafting. I want I want twelve of these, and we're going to mark out. So we need more wood. Doesn't quite make it for the numbers that I was hoping for, but it will do. I'm okay with that. Um, yes, that was bad, I know. Okay. Gate. I need a gate. I need a gate. I need a gate. There we go. So I'm going to put scarecrows somewhere. I don't know where. But that is for another time. Because it's bedtime. Oh, level 3 foraging. Oh, nice. We got a new recipe. Very good. Okay. Weather report for tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful and sunny all day. Fortune teller. Somewhat annoyed today. Mmm, that's not good. Living off the land. So what do they have for us today? It's salmonberry season all across the countryside. Bushes are teeming with juicy little berries. And they're free for the taking. Harvesting them is a great way to earn some extra cash. True. Very true. Oh, what's this? 
Hello dear, I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I want to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. Thank you. It's very helpful. Very helpful. Okay, so we need to say hello and give some water. So once the crops are kind of done, we can kind of finish constructing everything. But for now, we'll just go with what we have. We can take it across the bottom here. that we need to buy are what? Brain, work for me, please. We need more parsnips and more potatoes. Yes. Okay. Actually, I will probably need that. And definitely the axe, because we need to get some wood. Watch out, Sushi! Uh, really? Oh, come on. <laughs> Fine, we'll go this way. We'll go all the way around, cut down this tree, and... There's a tree down here that I wanted out of the way, just so I can see things a bit better. need that, that, or that. And we need this, uh, one piece of coal and some fiber to construct this. You can go there. Okay. So we'll grab some seeds. Salmon berries. Help if I did the right clicking for it. Twenty of each, maybe? Okay, so. Okay, we'll try and get to that tomorrow. I'm not too sure if we can. Yeah, I know a lot about the people living here. Yeah, you would. That's one of the benefits of being a bartender. Sometimes I hear too much. True. Oh, hey. Taking a break from work? Kind of. 
Let's get some... 20 parsnip seeds and... 20 potato seeds. can't buy these, but I would like to. Well, maybe one day. Expensive. It is Haley's birthday, but uh, what to get her? I don't think I have anything. Let alone anything. Well, yeah, I have nothing she's gonna like. Everywhere. It's awesome. This is a great gift. Thank you. I thought you'd like it, Linus. So I'll head back and we'll get this going. The parsnips and potatoes. We may have to eat the rest of our salmon berries, so. Okay, so let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh huh. Okay. Water first. Because if I can't finish that, that would not be so good to get the seeds into the ground. We'll go with parsnips. They have good energy at 25. Wow. Okay. Go with the parsnips. Oops. <laughs> okay. So now we need another. Oh, we walked right by the community center. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ugh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, watering. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's everything. Jeez. Why don't we put this down here? There we go. 
Don't need that. Well, we really can't do much of anything. Let's eat the salmon berry. Now let's go, I guess, foraging. You know, find a few more things, some more salmon berries. See if we can talk to a few more people. Now if there's enough time in the day, we will stop by and uh, drop off the stone for the construction bundle. Which, of course, puts us at a deficit again. Need to spend more time in the mines, I think. Ooh, yes. Wait, do we have one over here? No, not really. Mmm. Horseradish. More salmon berries. Let's head down this way. See if there are leaks about. There are some leaks. So we'll gather those as well. Wow, we're finding so many. We're up to 11. Just wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a squirrel. Wow. Have we gotten like most of them? At least for the moment? I think so. Wow. Okay then. That was pretty good, I must say. Now, the best thing that we can do is certainly sell them. Uh, those are the beans. So we will... Actually, we'll just sell all of it. In the beginning, we do need quite a bit of money. And I am going to head up this way and drop off the... Uh, the stone. I mean, we spent what two? Not one thousand? A little over one thousand. Um, on seeds. So we we need to recoup that. At least a little bit. It's bad that we miss Haley's birthday, but it happens. Ah, excuse me. There we go. On our way to getting that one done. We probably could have brought the parsnip thinking about it, but that's okay.
Oh, excuse me, itchy eye. A little bit tougher to control. <laughs> We didn't get to the beach. I was hoping to get to the beach, but uh, we'll have to do that another time. There's just so much to do in a day. I think we should probably follow Sushi's path here and head to bed. How are the salmon berries? Not that profitable, but they help with our forging skill, so. Anyways, that will do us, I think, for this episode. So I hope you enjoyed your time in Stardew Valley and, and on uh, Kitty Haven Farm. And I hope you join me again. But until then, please do be safe, everyone. Bye!